Hey everybody, today we're going to be repasting the GPU, CPU, and memory modules on my Asus GL502V. This is an excellent little laptop that I've been very happy with. I got it in September, so I'm working on about six months with it. Um, it has a i7-7700 and also has a uh, NVIDIA 1070 graphics card, so it's got some incredible hardware in here. However, these are known for having very, very sloppy pasting on all the thermal paste. So, as I've seen online, I've seen a few pictures, but no uh, very clear video on how to do this. So, I am going to walk everyone through my process of pasting. All right, so we have 10 screws here on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's go. Okay, so start with this corner. This one works for me. It's the same side as the uh, Ethernet connector, which is the top right as I am looking at it. As I stuck my pry bar in, popped right off. There's gonna be plastic clips that hold it in all the way around. If you just be gentle and separate it, it'll, it'll come off for you. Be nice and gentle with it. Here we go. So this is the area we're going to be focusing on today. We have the two fans, two uh, major heat sinks, and then these copper bus bars. Now, what's important is to remove, disconnect the battery here so that as we are working on it, we don't run into any uh, shorting problems. So this ribbon here is going to be the one we want to disconnect for the battery. It's covered with a little uh, tape here to try not to uh, let anything short circuit. So let's put that aside. What is that coming out? Pulls just uh, straight off. So grab it from both sides, pull it right up. Alright, next we're going to remove these two fans. I can already tell by looking right here that this thermal paste job is not the most excellent here is lots of overflowed thermal paste. Here we have a lot of thermal paste that's overflowed. This. Next, we wanna look at all these screws we have here holding our bus bar and heat sink on. I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so taking off the bus bars and the heat sinks here, they're, even though you remove the eight screws that are on the processor and GPU, it's, it does want to stick. So just even pressure, just work its, work its way off, try to pull it straight up. Uh, be careful not to bend anything, it will come off. All right, look at that. Uh, yeah. Here, this is all not necessary, it's a little too much. So, uh, again.